Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Welcome back people. Hope it's, you are all doing well. It's a sad day today. Little Jensen has got to go home. Oh, it's a bittersweet. Have you had a good time with us? Yeah. What's been the best part? Mm. Yesterday. Don't think about Harry it too hard, will you? Harry Potter Lego. Oh uh, yeah, we bought in the Harry Potter Lego. Yes, and yesterday. Mm -hmm. He's absolutely massive into Harry Potter. He um, doesn't shut up about Harry bloody Potter. And Lego, he absolutely... I mean, the Lego that we bought him was for age nine and up and he did it within about five, six hours and it was the big one. So, yeah. Very clever. Very, very clever. Follows his granddad. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, so his dad's on the way. Yeah, we're going to walk him up in a minute because we have to go through two gates and one you can only get through with a key for campers. If you like this video... Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Happy with that. <laughs> and don't forget to give us a like. He's, he's been dying all night to say that. Yeah, you've been watching some videos, haven't you, of ours? Of Minecraft. And Minecraft, yeah. So I can play Minecraft, but I have to buy it, and that means I have to take it to my aunt, my dad's bag, but I can't because he said don't buy anything else. Yeah, well, when you go home, you can, we'll have a word with Daddy in a yeah. minute. So say goodbye yeah. then to everybody. Yeah. Goodbye. So see you next year. See you next year. He's going. There he is. Daddy's picked him up. Bye. <laughs> Bloody kids. Oh, when I was his age, I had an Allegro to run about in. <laughs> yeah, no, he's actually 32, you know. I oh, know, but he's a kid to Do me. Do you know where to get out? Oh, it's a way. Oh, it's... Beautiful car. We need to go that way. Okay. Yes, you're okay. You're <laughs> feeling feel a bit sad. emotional now. Yeah, it's... Uh, we've had him for, what, 12 days? 12 days. Um, Seems like 12 months. Yeah, but you just get used to it, don't you? You get used to the... The routine of having a little one with you and then... Yeah, but now you just got me. Yeah, now I've just got one, the one child to look after. So what we're going to do today, people, we're going to go back and give the van a damn good clean. We because are. Lynn's had another present. I have. Well, I don't get presents very often, but it's not really a present, what you'd call a present. Well, something yeah, I'd buy you anyway. It's, well, it is something you'd buy, yeah. But we desperately needed one and we, we think it is absolutely ideal yes. for the motorhome. So we want to share it with you, and uh, yeah, we've got to go and clean the van, tidy up after Jensen being there. Yes, uh, mucky little handprints everywhere. Oh gosh, yes. And that's just suffer. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, we'll go back now. And crack on. I kiss. do feel sad. You've still got me. Oh, I do feel sad. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we are back at the van. I'm just uh, making us a tea and coffee while Robert's outside doing us a bacon and egg sandwich. And winding the awning in and doing all the jobs as us men do. And there's the deer in the background as you can see them. Another beautiful, beautiful day. So yeah, the plan is today to do some filming and uh, clean the van. And Daniel from a company called All Technic has sent us the U12 Vesla vacuum cleaner. So it's a stick vacuum, it's got green light technology, it's got anti-tangle brush, dust lithium system, clog reduced technology and on and on and on. So what it was, we've had the uh, G-Tech Hoover and a cheap stick Hoover that has been absolutely horrendous since we bought it. We bought it especially for this. Uh, the GTEC's great, as everybody knows, but it's no good for corners and really it's not very really good for confined areas. So we were going to invest in a Dyson, but uh, like I said, Daniel from All Technic got in touch with me and said, would you like to try it, review it for your uh, subscribers, see what they think? And I said, yeah, please do. So yeah, I'll get that out of the box in a minute and show you all the bits and parts, bits and parts, bits and parts, bits and parts to it and see what it's like, see if it's any good for us caravanners and motorhomers. Well, I've come back in, people, after slaving away outside, cooking for the old bird, cleaning the old kadakal. What else have I done? That's it. Got the roll out awning in, while she's been in here, messing about with an hoover. I have not, though. Which she will never use, because I do all the hoovering. I do all the van work, the housework, the washing up, take the dogs a walk, look after the grandkids, you name it, I do it. 
while she sits there looking pretty. You really are so full of up ducky. What's up ducky? Nothing sweetie. <laughs> yeah so Hooray! now I've cleaned round, well I've washed up and tidied round and put the throws straight. Uh, can I just say you're looking very pretty tonight? Shut up Robert. Okay. So I'm gonna have a look at what I can tell you I've already opened this because I wanted to charge it up before we came so I do know what's in the box but you don't but obviously you've got a good idea. So I did actually take the main part which is this it's got a really good size container for the rubbish um, and then I uh, snapped the battery on which is so easy just like that and charge it up. Well, so, the best thing about that Hoover to me is the dashboard. Yeah, the dashboard. Because it's like being in a car. Absolutely. Well, it's called. Is it a called a car dashboard or no. something like that? No, it's that. really much not. But Actually, I'll, I'll tell you what it's called. It's called a uh, did it, automotive dashboard display. Right. Automotive is isn't that a car? An automotive? Yeah. So a car display dashboard. That's what I said. That's what I said. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Domestic. Right. So let's get the, the wrapper off. You can't whack a good Hoover. No. Now I don't know if Lynn said, but believe it or not, I was literally going to buy the Dyson not so long ago, the Dyson cordless one. And so I'm so happy I didn't know because they've sent us this. Yeah, this, which I'm sure you would all agree. This is with. Before I go into it anymore, this is coming in at one hundred and forty nine ninety nine on Amazon, but they have said they'll send me a discount. So the discount code and the link will be in the description below. But comparing it to the Dyson, I don't know what this is like because I haven't used it. As you can see, it's brand new. Um, the Dyson is three hundred and twenty pounds, so it's double, over double the price. Um, yeah, so I'll put it together, which isn't going to be complicated. So what's in the box? Right, what's in the box? Obviously, you got the bracket. Obviously that. So they send a bracket. Which I'm going to have a look to see if I can put it in yeah, the van somewhere. Yeah, we are going to, because this is going to live in the van. We are going to try and, Robert's going to try and mount it. Um, the only place I can think is the other side of the well, I'll bathroom have a look wall. In a bit. Right, okay. You've got, you've already got a HEPA filter in it and they send you a spare and you can't beat a spare because you can wash those and while you're waiting for it to dry you can bang another one in so that's good oh, then, I'm banging things in there you've got Lynn. shut up Robert <laughs> that again is for the to hang it up so that attaches somehow to that and then you can put your bits in that's Robert's job because I wouldn't dare put any holes in this van. You mean it's a man's job? You've got your charger and they, oh, they do stipulate only use this charger, which is fine, which you, you would anyway. Um, you've got your tools. So you've got your brush tool, which also... There you go. So you can do just like any other. You just put, you can pull it back to use the just the nozzle. Well, you've got the brush. Happy with that. One other good thing about this company, because uh, I've been looking on Amazon at everything, and you can buy each individual thing if you break anything, um, even the actual this. Yeah, so all spares you can all get. All spares you can you get can them on source Amazon. off Amazon easily. Yeah. So you've got your long stick and the brush, which I've said. Any more bits? Oh yeah, of course. You've got your main. The main head. head. And one thing with this is it's got something which is rather unique, green light technology. So when it's powered on, this shot this glow glows green and it shows up microscopic bits of dust. How about that then? Wow. No, but it's supposed to be. It really it feels substantial. I mean yeah. the one that we've got in here is I think, how much did we pay? 60 quid and it's just... How much guarantee with this hoover? I haven't had a look yet, but I will find that out as I'm going along. And, and do we get any money knocked off? 
I've already said that. They are, he is going, Daniel from All Technic is going to send me a, 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 a discount code. So because I haven't got it by the time we complete this video, because it's now Sunday. It'll be in the description. Yeah, it'll either come on Monday or Tuesday. So by the time this vlog goes on the description, the discount code will be in the description. And you've got a telescopic pole, which is really good because for little people, you can have it at that low. So it's going to stop that low then? No, because you're using it. You're the one that you you're the one that does the hoovering in here. No, um, yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, because if there's a blade of grass, actually, and I've, you're having a bit of a meltdown because we've had Jensen here. Yeah, there's bits there around the carpet. And Mavis and Dutch molt like you wouldn't believe, and we continually, we being the royal we, continually vacuum. So we're going to put this together and uh, put it through its paces. So, it goes together as simply as this. So you get that one, push the main pole onto it, click, and then that one onto there, no problem at all. And so to extend it, the button's at the back. There isn't, unfortunately, there isn't any way to keep these attached Yes, two. but they'd just be in the way anyway. If they were attached to that, they'd be in the yeah. way. No, but like on the on the others that we've had, well, the Dyson. Yes, and they keep dropping off and they're yeah. a pain in the arse. But there isn't any way to keep those. So. Yeah, well, I know where to keep them. In the bin. Yeah, HEPA filter. In the bin? No, definitely not. We've got the instruction manual with a, the warranty card. Uh, it does it just to register it. It doesn't say... Just have a quick look. Uh, maintenance, charging. No, I will look into it what the, uh, the warranty is on it. Yeah, it's probably written on the box. Right, before we go any further, I will read you uh, a bit about it. And I've just found out it's got a two year warranty on it, which is a really good warranty for a vacuum cleaner. Uh, it's the All Technic U12 Ves Vesla Cordless Vacuum. It adopts an advanced green eye technology, which we'll show you in a bit. Um, the green LED headlights can reveal microscopic dust on hard floors, identifies the dirtiest areas, reduces cleaning time and saves energy, more precise and efficient cleaning. Uh, it's got a 450 watt digital motor that provides suction up to 30 kPa. Don't know what KPA stands for. No idea. Four speed modes meet your daily needs. Powering up is one button operation. So you don't have to press it. You can just turn it on and, and leave it on. You haven't got to like hold your finger down. Hold the which, trigger down. Which we did after on the, the cheap the cheap. So there's no one. trigger. There is it's just one button, which mm. is Yeah, so there's no trigger. No, it's just one continuous button. But I will show you the the the, the, uh, the screen because it's absolutely awesome. Um, it's got a tangle-free roller brush, which is amazing for any ladies with longer hair. I mean, mine mine's pretty bad as well, because, like, yeah, my hair just used to wrap, wrap round it all the time. So it's got the anti-tangle. Especially from under your arms. Shut up, Robert. Um, it easily picks up long hair and pet hair. So that's one, that's the main thing for us at the moment is the dogs. It's got a, a one litre large capacity dustbin, which is that. So it holds one litre. Um, it comes with a crevice brush, which we've said combination tool so you can switch to handheld vacuum in seconds to clean couches, cars, stairs and upholstery. The telescopic pipe allows you to adjust the length so as you need so it can pick up from the dust on the floor, hard to reach ceilings and ceiling fans. So the display is brilliant. So press that turn on. So that's on power mode one. And then to turn it up. It cools up. Shows your battery level. How long you've got to run it. Yeah. Happy with that folks. So the main thing is I'm up here, not down there. I know, I was looking at the dust on the floor. Oh, right, Look yeah, it. I know. It, it's, Jensen's been running in and out, hasn't he? So, uh, the main thing is is how it picks up everything, you know, dust and pet hair yeah. and anything that Jensen's dropped. Yes, so as you can see, that is empty. So, Lynn is now going to 
Me? Yes. Yes, I know you don't usually work with you, but... How do you fuck you? So right. where are you going to start? I'm going to do this this mat. Hang on, that. let me go over there. Do, 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 do. There you go. Right, so also what you didn't show is all the pretty lights look. So you turn it on, it's blue. And you go up and it's lilac. And you go up again and it's red. Right, so... i full power then we'll give it some jip. The full power is 120, so... And the green light... Put some effort into it. You know, Robert, you're not supposed to... No, don't take it off, mate, just because I'm not doing it to your... Why are the red lights flashing on it? Where? Yeah, yeah. it just... Yeah, it just... And it's on. And it shows it's doing it. I mean, we, we, I think... So we, that's just the rub, just do the rub. I'm um, just, yeah, I can't yeah, do it. Yeah, just do the rub. Right, well, he's picked up all the bits. You can see that. That bit won't come off. It's probably a stay. Okay. okay. Is there anything? Yeah. Look at all the dust and the dog yeah. hair already. Look at that. And that's just from that rug. And that's rug. just from that rug. And it was vacuumed yesterday, you used the little one, didn't yes, you? Yes, and all, look at all the little tiny bits in there. Yeah, dust, yeah, minging. Yeah. And that's true, and we do, honestly, we take our shoes off all the time when yeah, we Yeah, but you in. don't wash your feet, do you? We take our shoes off, but it's the dogs as well, dogs running in. We do, like, on your bed, on your bed, but, yeah. So I'm going to take the rug up now, and I'm going to do the carpet that's never trodden on underneath it. Yeah. So I'll do that now. Yeah, so this rug is very, very rarely trod on it's without uh, the mat being down. It's never trod on, is it? Was well, it no, sometimes it is, when, when I've got the, that outside right. to clean up. Okay. So, yeah, let's try it on here. I'm really liking the green light. I mean, you can see underneath the seat, look. Yeah. You can see dust, which I can't get to without using the handheld, but we will. It's easy, it's light, it only weighs 3.5 kilos. So it's, it's easy for you to push. I'm really liking this. I mean, it's probably the only time you'll ever see me use it. Yeah, probably, yeah. Right, let's see what that's picked up. Even more, even more yes. dust and dog air. But dog air gets Man, everywhere, that's surprising, it? isn't it? Yeah. That really is. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is vacuum the rest of the van. I do want to take the rugs out because, as you all know, the backing of these rugs is horrendous. Yeah, the backing comes off. Hang on, let me move the hoover. Oh, it's going to be embarrassing. Everybody's van is the same. Oh, it's not you as see bad the, as I thought. No, not, no, but we have done it both. See all the white stuff there, look? Yeah, it's all that up. comes off the back of these rugs. Yeah. So, so we're going to take it, take them all out and give the van a damn good vacuuming and we'll show you how much dirt we pick up. Yeah, we've just took the rug up from this, uh, from where we sit most of the time. Look at that. What's come off the carpet? That's mad, isn't it? All come off the back in there, look. Yes. I'll get the hoover on the go. What are you doing standing there looking pretty? No, I've just, I was just looking for some wipes that we could clean the floor, but I'm going to have to wait till we get back because we haven't got any, so. Yeah. But, I mean, this isn't the first time we've lifted the rugs up. We do it, well, once a couple, every couple of months, don't we, is actually lift them up. Yeah. I can't believe the backing that's come off these. Hey, while well, I've got the uh, the rug up, by the way, that's a cracking idea in this van. Got a little safe here, look. Oops. Oh, man, look at the own there, isn't it? That's already handy to have, that is. Well, it isn't there you've showed everybody where it is. <laughs> Very true. No, but you know, when you're abroad or anything, you leave yeah, something. Yeah, you put all your money in, your camera equipment and everything there. Well done for that, Robert. <laughs> Bloody hell. Good job we take it all with us, isn't it, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to get all the, the bits up from here, so we handle all that dust. Look at that, easy. Yes, perfect. Love it. Okay, so we've done the main carpet. We've done in here, we've done the main carpet, we've took that up. 
done all the floor and it's even really good on little rugs and like us the green lights because this it's quite dark in this motorhome today the weather's a bit rubbish if you look how that's picking the pile up on that yeah it's literally sucking them out it is so maybe turn the power down oh good idea that man so it was on 120 i put it on 90 that's better and it's picking the dog hair up i mean yeah you can see that i'm so chuffed with this loving the green light one other thing on the display i'm going to put it on the lowest see how it says you've got the the run time so you've got 12 minutes on the lowest setting turn it up oh oops turn that one to turn it up 12 minutes and then eight minutes 36 on that so it gives you how long you've got left on the on the display, which is good to know before you need to yeah. charge. And we've got two more rooms left. Yeah, we've, uh, we're just doing the bathroom and then we're going to do the bedroom. So, yeah, we should we should do it. Yeah. Right, that's the whole van done, people. We've uh, done, the, done, the, done all the carpets, took the carpets out, done all the floor, put the carpets back in, done the carpets again. And bear in mind, we hoover this van twice a day. Yeah. Don't we? We do. Do you want me to hold that? Yeah, we have to for t twice. You know, when you've got dogs and whatever. Even though we are so careful, you know what crap comes in and out. Look at that. I mean, it's not horrendous. It's only because yeah, you've got well, it all... to me it is. Yes, I know, but you've only got it stuck on... It's like one ball, but if you see underneath all the dust and everything... Yeah, that's the come dust's off. the main thing. Look at but, the dust. Yeah, a lot of that is from the backing of the carpet. Yeah. But right. yeah... Recommend it? I guess. I mean, this is going to take, obviously, it's going to stay in the motorhome because it's perfect for our motorhome. Um, and it's lightweight. Yeah, and just to, just quickly, just to finish it off, uh, to empty it, you just press that there, the bottom drops off, and it just empties easily into the bin. Absolutely love it. So, thank you so much to Dan from Daniel of All Technic for sending us this. Yeah. It's, uh, so it's get them to Amazon, people, and get one. Yeah, the they're perfect. The For the motorhome, they all bang on. £149.99, like I said, but uh, with the... They're going to send me a discount code, hopefully. So it'll all be put in the description. And yeah, perfect for a motorhome or a caravan. Love it. Right, let's crack on with our day, then. Yes. We're just having this... We're just having five minutes, people, before... Because uh, I'm knackered after doing all the hoovering. So we're just having five minutes, and I'm doing a bit of editing. You're doing the editing, are you? All right, then I'm watching Lynn do the editing. Yeah, and just keep your feet away from my feet. I, I've really got a foot phobia. And it, because it, it, oh, my, everybody who knows me well knows what I'm like with feet. Hate them. Strange you are, bloody strange. Yeah, so I'll get this editing done. And then we'll crack on cleaning. I know, I have cleaned two windows. <laughs> that one and that one. You've done outside, have you? And you've got the bed up. Why? I mean, you've got a stick now holding the bed up. Yes, that's a good eye. Hang on, you have to wait for your editing. <sighs> Cracking idea, look. A bit of old uh, water pipe to hold my bed up. Because they're bloody heavy, aren't they? The beds are heavy when you've got all your bedding on and things. Yes, if there's no bedding on it, just if just the mattress on it, it'll stay, stay up on its own. You put a pillow on it, nah, it won't do it. Yeah, because obviously the struts aren't strong enough, are Not they? For but a if... pillow. Or a quilt. But if you put stronger struts on, the bed yeah. isn't going to sit down, is it? No, I have seen on a couple of, I think it's on the Swift Motorhome Owners Club. Yeah. They've actually, somebody's actually changed their struts and put stronger struts on. Yeah, but why spend money when you just use a bit of waste pipe? Which you keep bit of water pipe, that's all you need. Bed. We have, well, you No have, weight in it, nothing. Just pick it up, pop it up, jab it up. We, the Royal We again, has actually tidied up under the bed, haven't you, I noticed? Yes. Because I can't, it's, it, like, you go to get something from under the bed and you're literally holding the bed up with your back of your we neck and shoulders. We were until I got my new invention. Invention. I don't think you should, uh, yeah. It works. That's all that counts, what isn't mean? it? What do you mean? I've notched all this out and everything, look. You mean you snapped it off? See there, look, I've cut a little notch in there. And it fits under there, down onto the floor. Perfect. Is it clean, is it clean under the bed? Is it clean under the bed? Of course it is. You don't need any bloody spend more money people on struts and things. All you need is a bit of pipe. 
happy with us, happy. Yeah, because he's had to. I've just ordered a load of stuff of Amazon, haven't I? Some cooking stuff. Bloody Some hell. silicon pots and a meat thermometer that I've never had that I've always wanted. Are you going to stop rambling on me? You don't like me talking about my cooking, do you? No. You just like eating it. Yeah. Yeah. Saving right. a fortune in takeaways. Oh, yeah. A bloody fortune. Yeah. And I'm losing weight. No, you're really not, though, are you? Shut up. Just say I am. No, he's really not. Say I am. But neither neither of us are. I've got to stop. I think I'll have to stop cooking. You're gorgeous for an old bird. What are you after? Because whatever it is, you ain't getting it. Right, come on now. I've got to finish doing this editing, so... Ain't getting what? A Kiss. snog. Shut up, Robert. Come on, then, crackle. It's not every day. <laughs> You could sit in your motorhome and have a deer just walk past. Well, that's the second one. The the stag's behind I can't, you. I can't get behind. Museum. Yeah. Man, that is so nice to see. You just wouldn't think you're going to see that in Reading. You just wouldn't. It wasn't what I expected. I mean, look at them. Look at the babies. Oh, they're having a fight. You missed that then. Beautiful to see. Give us a kiss. No, come on, I'm trying to edit. Who polishes a cooker? A cooker, a kettle. Me? You've got to keep it looking nice. Actually, I was filling this kettle up because I went and got the water. And there was a gentleman up there and he said, wow, that, what a lovely kettle that is. That's all it used to be. I said, but... Oh, you should have sold it him. <laughs> the thing is, though, all the copper paint colours, it's not a proper copper one, is it? So it just... Uh... Yeah, but how long have we had that now? I know. A few, um, a couple of years. Since you've had the motorhome, so three years. Mm. You still, you still haven't learned how to fill it up, have you? I have what I've just said. I did it today. No, you didn't. Right, and I've polished all the cooker. And that's annoying as well, isn't it? Hang on, let me put the light on. If I find it. Where is it? Light it. Hang on. Turn it up. Put this light on. That's better. You just need the cooker light yeah, on. That sort of annoys me. That there, look. I know. I See know. that? So it's all gone all rusty and things. I'm sure. Maybe we can get some stuff. Yeah. On it. What's Pro that? I see enamel come off. It's not. I think it's something. It is. See, actually, enamel come off the top of the cooker. No, that's not good. Is it? I don't know. I think it is. I'll have a look. The other thing Hang is. On. I need to touch out a bit of hammerhead. I need to. I need to take this off and give it a really good go. I have done the inside of the oven, but and I've done the, the glass. But there's marks inside, and I cannot. Well, the cooker's spotless inside because you don't use it. Yes, I do use it. Does the glass but, come out? No, because it's. You, I honestly don't know. Yes, yes, it does. You take this off here, look, let's screw it out of here, and mm. the one on the other side, and that glass will come out. Needs doing. I mean, yeah. there are some marks the other side. I mean, the oven is spotless, I always keep it. Well, you don't need to get your uh, screwdriver. No, but this, this is all. I can't get. Can't get it clean. So a bit of elbow grease on it. No, it's like those knobs come off. No, they don't. No, they don't. Yeah, she said. They do. <laughs> Sorry. You just take right. those off. Yeah, but are they all different? No, or? let's put it back on it already. No, take them all off. It's no, got to be no okay. take them off. It's going to be cleaned. On your have to get involved. Right, I get a good grease. Grease. What about? Where's my grease spray? There it is. It looks like rain. I would say that. Thought we'd have a rom romantic walk in the woods. Shut up, Robert. No, I wouldn't use that. That's bloody ab abrasive. I wouldn't have done that. I don't know about you folks, I wouldn't have used one of those uh, scaring things. I'm not doing it hard. No, you shouldn't do that. Scratch it. I'm not, you're not going to scratch it, it's brushed aluminium, so I'm not going to scratch it. It's bloody sta stainless steel for a no, start. Well, what's brushed stainless steel there? The only thing you have to be careful of with cleaning these is... Yeah, don't use one of them. No, you don't get the paint off because I've actually done it. You're going to get the paint off with one of those? I've actually, I've done it gently. I've actually took all these lettering off. Are well, you going to all use one of those? No, I didn't do it with that. Oh, I've actually done that with the one, the cooker in the static. Um, I've took all the paint off it. It's a good well. It's a good job there's only me that cooks in it because nobody'd know what the buttons are for. But I have 
Oh, I'm not really, See, I'm not really happy with that there. No, no, I'll take the, I'll take it off in a minute and uh, have a go. But it's still showing marks on it. Yeah, well, don't use that bloody thing oh, on it again. Shush, your shush. I was going to swear. Though. Some polish on. You look. There you go. I mean, look at the mess I'm making. <sighs> bloody hell, folks. I know, but every now and again, if you use the motor, I mean, look. Well, there you go. See, is that working well? Yeah, but I've had to take the <laughs> grease off. I'm, I'm, to... I'm always right. No, I've had to take the grease off first. No, no, no. You've took the bloody paint off with that. No, I have not. Bloody, I've got to keep my eye on her all the time. It's just. There's your dirty hand prints all over it, that is. No, it's still not looking, it still doesn't look. Oh, it'll do, just chuck no. a tea towel over it. And you've got it all over here. Now I'm going to start on the microwave, people, as you can see. Yeah, well, I'll clean the outside because I can reach the outside. Not that it needed doing. Nah, it's spotless. No, yeah, but I can't tell you what the inside's like. Why? Well, I don't cook in it, but we use it to store stuff. The bread bin? Yeah, so... Nah, it's spotless. It's not. Look, I can feel... Let me see. I can feel crumbs. Let me see. Thank you. So, nah, spotless. No, it's not. I can feel crumbs to get in there. Yeah, I'll hold it. I'll have the de there you go, cloth and degreaser. Bloody hell. Degreaser? We don't use Just it. Just spray it, spray and clean. You can feel it needs cleaning. <sighs> and rain stop play a bit just because it, we had everything outside, including the dogs while we were cleaning and the heavens opened. So we've had to run out, grab everything, get it all here. Nah, it's done. Perfect. Now it needs drying off. There you go, people. That's what I've done. Perfect. Like a brand new. Well, it is a brand new because it's never used. I don't. We've very rarely used a microwave. Use, no. Maybe for heat, reheating stuff. So if anybody wants a microwave on the cheap, let me know. <laughs> That's never turned on. Right. Yeah. You, can, you can put all the bread and everything back in. No, I'm going to let it air a bit first. Okay. Right. We'll have five. Again. Should we have a drink? Come on, stuff the cleaning. Let's have a drink. It's ten to two. I've got comments to yeah, answer. Yes, on holiday. Because my cooking vlog that I put on Sunday, last Sunday. For some reason, went to twelve o'clock today instead of five. Yeah. Weirdo. Steady on the whiskey. Yeah, we've uh, we've cut down. We used to have that full. But uh, yeah, being as you're driving tomorrow, we are going to have a couple of drinks. Got the lighter out to light the Kodak, that's if it stops raining. And have a guess who's cooking? It's not you, is it? Bloody hell, don't I do enough? No. What have you done? Well, I married you for a sword. Very lucky man you are. So you keep being told by me. <laughs> zero caffeine, zero sugar. Zero fat though, is it? Well, it's always a bit. <laughs> Don't be rude. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. <sighs> Cheers. Well, I think we've done enough cleaning for today. Yeah, the van, the van feels clean. I just got to do a couple of windows, but we're not going to bore you with that. No, um, it is enamel that's come off the cooker, so I'm really gutted about that because I don't know how that could have happened. Some, I don't know if it's something's when well, it can't have dropped on it. But yeah, no, no. cooker's all, all cleaned, sorted. inside and out. Can't get the glass out. It looks like a bit of a mission to do. No, I will. I just can't be bothered. Yeah. At one, the one other thing which I haven't done recently is take the the burners off. Because one of our burners stopped working and I got the wonderful Trev, uh, Trev and Luz, our friend, and he took it apart and the crap. Is that the old bloke, Trev? Oh, yeah. The crap that you get, a build-up under the, the burner itself. And yeah, so they need coming off again soon. You can't beat a glass of mineral water. To clean. Uh, just before we go, I want to wish Bruce and Alison Wilcox a very happy fifth, belated fifth wedding anniversary. I think they've been together Bruce forever. Bruce and Alison Wilcox. Yeah, they've been together forever, from what I can remember reading. So why you get married then? It's their fifth, <laughs> it was their fifth wedding anniversary on the 21st of August, so yes. happy belated massive, wedding anniversary. Massive happy anniversary from us. Yes. We hope you've had a great day, we hope you have loads of snogs, we hope she looks after you well. 
cooks for you like I do for you. <laughs> yeah, once a bloody week on a Sunday. <laughs> Happy with that. You can't rush a good woman. Yeah, so what we've, what we're going to do, because the vlog will go on forever, we're just going to have a, a chill out because it's been our, our first night alone for... 12 nights. 12 nights. So we've got loads of passion to catch up on and snogs and things. Definitely not. They're just going back to... Oh that. no, I'm just dreaming. You are. Going back to the Hoover, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Go out, check it out. If you're looking for a Hoover, yeah. definitely well worth the money. Yeah, and for the motor home, well, the caravan is perfect. Well, really is good. I think they're great in the home as well because they're quick and easy if you've just got, you know, I mean, I use my, my big, di I've got a big Dyson at the static and at home, which I use all the time. Mm. But I absolutely love stick hoovers, but the, that one that we bought before, £60, you get what you pay for, don't you? But in this case, 149 plus a discount, whatever that will be. Check it out in the description below. Oh, any bit of discount helps, doesn't it? It does. So on that note, We'll say our farewells. So stay safe, fellow motorhomers, caravanners, no. dentists, drifters, subscribers, all and you. We still love you. No, <laughs> stay safe for the caravanners first. <sighs> so, have you finished? Yeah. So stay safe for the caravanners, motorhomers, dentists, drifters, subscribers, all and you. We still love you. Thank we... you so much for watching. We no, also... you didn't get. We do. <laughs> we will see you on the next one, folks. Thanks for watching. In a bit.